Hey guys, it's Faith from Faith of Gaming here. I hope you're well. Guys, I've got a, uh, a replay to show you. Um, Crooked Moon vs. Empire of the Fist. Yeah, I took a day or two off. When I say I took a day or two off, I my, um, upgraded my NVIDIA card drivers, my GT uh, 1070 drivers, and it absolutely shabonged my, uh, my OBS. Uh, just super laggy, super choppy. All my audio and everything had gone funny. And oh, God knows, it turns out the it changed my encoder to a different encoder. I don't know, I had two different types working. It took me three days, pretty much, or two days to work out what what the fudge had gone on. So, yeah, just two days of trying to figure out why I can't record anything anymore. But I've sorted it out, and I think I've also played with a couple of the other settings, and I think I've made it better. So, um, yeah, Book of Moon versus Empire. I'll run through the locations and kind of the units one on the map, but, yeah, the, the cards here for you guys to check out, the kind of spears. Um, great tools, handguns, demigriffs, and cannon. Me and my usual setup. I've tried taking a shaman, but I've cut this this guy down right to about 300 gold. Uh, sorry, lost lives. <laughs> 600, kind of 80 gold. I took, took a lot of spells out. I think I've just got um, the Skulker, is it? Which is the one that gives Marmon Pierce an immediate attack and um, Itchy Nuisance. Just to try and bring him along, because Itchy Nuisance seems to be super, super useful. So, yeah, just a quick layout. It's Castle Drakenhof map. Um, I've got my Squig Riders in the in the flanks there, which is one of the Dirkit Squigs on the um, the usual squigs. Two squig herds here to back them up. Two sets of trolls in either flanks of my main force. The two uh, unique Night Goblin Fanatics, the Warlords Boys and the AP Gloonies. Uh, a normal group of Night Goblin Fanatics. I had to drop one to pick this Shaman up um, and drop a couple of chevrons off my trolls that I usually take. Uh, my usual ranged cavalry in the woods or the bush. Here, yeah, Teeth Robbers, Morgs, Mange Marauders. Um, Goblin, Wolf Riders and Moon Howlers on the far right flank. Going to make a around this guy's gone with as i said the two normal handgunners silver bullets in his front line um which looks quite formidable the four sets of just normal spears with shields two demigriffs one is the normal demigriff knights and one is the altdorf griffites and then three great swords in the back accompanied by bathless argel on a flying pony and then a uh the hammer of the witches um the great cannons at the back which yeah got a troll death written all over them. Um, I'll speed this up. I was a little bit worried um, at the offset. My hammer of Gork uh, trading off with his, signing off on his great swords there. Also, if you notice, with his, um, with his hammer of witches there, those great swords are the best target by far because any kind of oversights or undersights or um, the shots will travel over a lot. They won't always be accurate. And there you are, look, that's scoring hits and killing, actually killing his hammer witches. So anyone who's setting up the, the dwarves or anything like that, setting up um, their kind of army layout, think about stuff like that. The perfect hit position to hit those great swords and to actually do a lot of damage to his hammer witches without intentionally aiming for it. So, yeah, great. Uh, I've got my squigs on the flank here, wolves on the flank here. The plan was obviously these two sets of griffites are very slow and they're not going to be able to hold off against. Um, my three kind of ranged units, so, um, sorry, cavalry units, so there is going to be a gap eventually. One thing I do want to show you, look, is that I obviously came flying down here to, um, down the middle, um, while the flanking motion was, was going on. These gunners were, yeah, they were scary for me, but they literally, in three volleys, one from each, sent off my trolls and killed, um, oh, they didn't kill any of their units that time, but yeah, look at the damage they did, and they just sent them off, turned them straight around. They also um, do a good bit of damage to my, um, to my squigs now. Um, I was really worried about these when I saw that, and then I kind of had a quick look in the map, and once they come out of that front position there, look, um, and have to fall back through skirmish mode, or he's obviously going to pull them back, they're not going to be very useful then, like, without getting them in the flanks, or they can't line of sight anything, or maybe hits of the bigger units, my troll or my giant, but apart from that, they're pretty useless with the, the terrain, and he hasn't got enough to protect them in the flanks, otherwise they're just going to be squig bait. So, um, I'll put it back to uh, the full speed. The plan as well, I wanted to try and pull these Demigriff Knights out, so I just wanted to try and harass them with the uh, the ranged cavalry um, that I've got here, um, which I think he does um, does a good job. He does pull his cannons back through his front lines and then presents his uh, presents his spears. As you can see here, flanking motions in full. Wolves are ready, the squigs are ready, just waiting for that waiting for that gap. I throw my trolls in to try and catch some of these uh, some of these hand gunners, which walk straight through a set of his. Uh, of his great swords. I'll slow it down a sec here. You can see what happened. I did pull the demigriffs out with the range, which is what I wanted. And those demigriff knights will they were taking hardly any damage. They'll never ever catch either of those units. Should have left them where he was. 
these demigriffs, have, he, he's forgotten about. But I did see a gap, and I want to get this Hammer of Witches off. He's got 27 kills, and I think it, in the woods over here is about four dead trolls from one one of its volleys, because it does crazy damage. So um, that sounding off on my giant or my trolls was just, yeah, that's not what I wanted. I, I, you know, once I lose those kind of big units with the morale and stuff, um, it kind of my game plan goes to pot a bit, and I'm just using night goblins, and it's not ideal. So I saw an opportunity... For right or wrong, I threw my squigs straight into the back. You know, a little cinematic of these guys coming in. They absolutely devastate this thing pretty quickly. I know the um, the hammer of Gork did some did some good damage on it as well. But the squigs come in and almost instantly, uh, you can see, it, it, it's good night Vienna. What he does do though, yeah, I'd maybe a bad move, but I just wanted to get it off the um, off the field. He does fall in with these two sets of spears. Which surround and good old demigriffs are on their way back. Which, yeah, these guys maybe shouldn't have used my um, my unique squigs. Maybe gone with the wolves if I was going to do a sacrifice job. But yeah, it was more of a knee jerk. Um, he sends the demigriffs into the back of these squigs, which I don't think was a particularly good idea. Kind of going to pin them down to fight rampaging squigs who will they'll fight for quite a long time, win or lose. They're, they're kind of expendable. Also, there's another set of squigs about to fall into the back of him here. He maybe should have charged these squigs. He probably could have broken them in the charge, but he didn't choose to. Um, I flattened another set of handgunners. The wolves, I see an opportunity. I think he's got these guys on skirmish, and he's just kind of forgotten about them. He's got too much going on on other fronts. The wolves are going to come across and get into these silver hands. Who, they don't get flattened, surprisingly. They do hold their own. I'll check back in them as a sec. As you can see, the, uh, the ticket squigs. They're not living life in there. Spears on one side, demigriffs on the other. Um, all sorts of bad stuff going on. Um, yeah, they uh, they probably won't come out of that fight alive, um, which is a shame. On the front, um, just trading off. The trolls have gone in to support the squigs that went into the, the Royal Griff fights, and they actually hold their own pretty well. Uh, my front lines of night goblins are holding off their spears and, and kind of trading, trading pretty well. Not amazingly, I know they're only spears, but... They are. They are night goblins. Um, on this front, then our, our trolls have got in. Um, they're still here, battling it out with some um, some great swords, some spears. Our giants in there as well. This sees our squigs trying to run away, and they've lost quite a lot now, so they won't be interested in in uh, returning to the battlefield at all. Um, getting off some uh, some spells there. Um, yeah, they do. Um, those Griffites do eventually, they flatten our squigs. I think we lose one whole unit of squigs. Oh, it's back there, just regroup. But these trolls get out, and he doesn't choose to chase them down. He's obviously panicking that his lines are kind of falling to bits a bit. He kind of brings them round to, um, to try and get into the back of these, uh, these Warlords boys. But it's all a bit little too late now. His formation's fallen to bits. We've still got giants, trolls. We've just sent off these um, silver bullets that we were... Um, engaged with, which frees up my wolf riders and my other set of squigs, which are just going to go now and um, absolutely clean up, um, clean up the stragglers, which only really leaves us to worry about these kind of demigriff knights in the centre, which my uh, my warlords in, my shamans around here somewhere as well, trying to give it as all well. some loonies going splat there, um, and I think it's all just a little bit too. Too much room to handle, too much left. With those squigs taking out kind of his handguns and stuff. Um, no real answer to uh, to those kind of squigs apart from the Demi of Knights. And they're just not going to trade well at all with the squigs. They're not going to catch them. And it's going to be awkward to use. They've got very low models, so they get caught up in combat with stuff. They are just going to get chewed up. Uh, as you can see, everything's pretty much the balance bar is shifting now towards us. Gel comes down, and, and honestly, I'll show you this up close. But um, sorry about that noise. I think it's a spell of, uh, of Gelt's there going off, some sort of transfusion or something. Um, up, so you can see his health, right? He comes in and lands. Well, and that's from pretty much so he got his health. He absolutely melts, and that's he's the end of the <laughs> the end of the the end of the battle. Um, some people probably disagree with me. I, I don't. I don't really. I don't really. Uh, I've tried using Gelt, and I just don't. Um, he's probably not who I'd have picked to fight against, maybe maybe Crooked Moon, but um, I just I just don't understand how to use him. Well, he's very flimsy, um, and yeah, the spells don't really 
what he costs and spells don't really match up for me, but I suppose some of you guys probably who know how to use him and yeah, maybe uh, would disagree with me. Quickly run through the scoreboards or the scorecards. Um, yeah, he's great swords. I mean, those guys get him one kill. Maybe the um, they're the great swords that were getting battered by the uh, the hammer of gore. These guys get an eleven. These guys get in a respectable seventy. But against goblins, I mean, you'd expect seventy easy. You'd expect seventy from any unit. Um, it's a lot of money there gone in, in two units. Um, the uh, Demogriff Knights here, 25 kills. Again, I'm not sure of the gold, but I know they're inexpensive. They're kind of up there. 15, 1600 kind of gold for one unit. Not not ideal at all. Like I said, they've got low unit models, and they're easily surrounded and easily kind of, um, even for all this, like they're standing and kind of how they trade and how much damage they can do. That's on the right targets. You surround them with a couple of night goblins and some trolls and some squigs and squig heads, and yeah, they're not going to do very well. Hammer Court getting, um, sorry, Hammer of Witches getting some good kills, but again, expensive artillery to everybody. Got 23 kills, although I think looking at the trolls, some of those, um, I know, um, I haven't played, but some of those kills were trolls, so yeah, maybe, um, maybe a bit respectable. Some of the spears getting um, good kills, but that's just against kind of Night Goblin Fanatics, so um, yeah, handgunners, no kills, 18 and 14. It's so difficult to use unless you're real. You, you, You've got your angles and you've got enough to cover them and kind of use them properly with a line of sight unless you're on a hill or during you've got something like that like i said or something to protect them in the flanks so it's just real difficult to use sometimes I'm, i i never take one really to try and maybe kill some um, anything flying to take that down but i'd much rather have crossbowmen if i can um just because yeah you can use them from behind your lines and they don't need to find line of sight all the time um just quickly look at ours and i'll uh, we'll move on um these Night Goblin Squig Hoppers, yeah, they got some really good kills. And that's just chewing through um, hand gunners and um, into the back of um, kind of uh, anything they were flanking. That 155 kills really strapped well, didn't they? lost any, any units either, which is pretty amazing. The Dickett Squig getting 71 kills, even though I just tossed them into the back of that Hammer of Witches. Um, that's respectable, you know, it's spears and griffites and stuff and the, and the um, all around them. And they still managed to pull off a couple of good kills with the Wag Pop in there. Hammer of is always getting some good kills. Um, yeah, I, what I'd done differently for him, I'd probably have dropped maybe uh, one or two of these great swords, um, maybe drop one of these and taken some more kind of uh, Empire Knights or Rikes Guard or something, maybe two sets of Empire Knights just just to try and keep these squigs from ravaging him at the back. Maybe yeah, maybe the spear's not the best idea. Maybe dropped where we dropped the two executions. Maybe taken some um, halberds to trade well with kind of some of the larger units, but also hold their own in in kind of. In combat, also again, then maybe would have been able, had some more units free to hold back the, um, the flank that, that went on. Um, yeah, overall, GG, good, good game from that guy. Enjoy playing, I always love enjoying goblins on um, against Empire. Um, guys, if you like the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, releasing regular content now that I've fixed my OBS. Um, yeah, until the next one, I'll, uh, I'll catch you again. Cheers.